Texas this morning. Morning prayer in three minutes. Trisha, do you want Nice and cold out here, you guys. You might need a sweater next time you come sit with us on the patio. <laughs> Good morning, Kay and Tricia. My glasses don't read that little screen up there, but we'll try to keep up. Ah, Mary Ann. Good morning. We'll start morning prayer in about two minutes. Get your prayer books and your hymnals. Good morning, Amanda. <clears throat> and yes, it's chilly out here. It's cold. <laughs> it's so nice to be cold. I know. <laughs> And the grass doesn't grow too much, so the guys cutting the grass across the street don't take too long. So, all is good. I think they may already be finished they today. They are already finished. And the birds are happy, so you'll have a lot of background noise. <laughs> Music. <laughs> Music. Yes. <laughs> noise. <laughs> Some of them. Draggle. Yep. Uh, happy Wednesday to you, Amanda. Lois and Kim, good morning. Birds say hi too. <laughs> oh, I was wrong. The lawn guys aren't quite finished across oh. the street, but I think the birds are louder. So yeah, good. Hopefully, you don't hear them too much. <laughs> good morning, Brian. <laughs> Hey Polly, it is a beautiful day indeed. Looks like it's going to be a very pretty one. Yeah. Nice and cool this morning and just pleasant the rest of the day. Sunshine and bird song. That's the name of a new rock band, I think. <laughs> <laughs> or should be. I have 8 o'clock, so welcome to our patio for morning prayer. I'm Jeff Stillings and... I'm Sally. And we are delighted that you're here with us. I am not going to pretend to remember all the services that are coming up this week. I know we have, during the week, we have morning prayer at 8 and evening prayer at 8 in the evening. So, uh, uh, Compline at 8 in the evening and noonday prayer at 1210. And this weekend we have 5.30 Eucharist on the North Patio and we have 7 o'clock Eucharist inside the nave. And then we have 8 o'clock Eucharist on Sunday on the patio. We have 10 o'clock streaming Eucharist on Facebook and we have 11 o'clock Eucharist in the nave. You remembered them all. I did, but I had to be very slow and deliberate. <laughs> so, you have lots of choices. <laughs> lots of choices week. for worship this weekend. And just a reminder, there will be a um, sign-up list for the indoor services, so we make sure that we stay within the capacity that the diocese has, um, has set for us. So, uh, please be prepared to join us, and we hope to see you at one of those services uh, over the weekend. And now we will start off with our prayer book, starting on page 78 uh, for the service of morning prayer. 
The hour is coming and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for such the Father seeks to worship him. Dearly beloved, would we come together in the presence of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, to set forth his praise, to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things that are necessary for our life and our salvation. And so that we may prepare ourselves in heart and mind to worship him, let us kneel in silence and with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins, that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. Saying together, most with merciful, merciful God, God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, thought word, word, and deed, by, by what, what we have done and by what we have left undone. undone. We, we have not loved you with our whole heart. heart. We, we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the, For the sake, sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Continuing on page 82 with the Venite. I'm sorry, let's do the Jubilati. It seems like a morning to be joyous. So we'll greet this glorious morning with the Jubilati, the bottom of page 82. Be joyful Lord, in the Lord, Lord all you lands, lands, and serve, serve the Lord with gladness, and, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his, his gates with thanksgiving. Go into, into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his <coughs> mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. We will now <coughs> excuse me, turn to page, we have two psalms for this morning. Page 730 is Psalm 101. So on 730, we will read Psalm 101, responsibly by whole verse. I will sing of mercy and justice to you, O Lord, will I sing praises. I will strive to follow a blameless course. Oh, when will you come to me? I will walk with sincerity of heart within my house. I will set no worthless thing before my eyes. I hate the doers of evil deeds. They shall not remain with me. A crooked heart shall be far from me. I will not know evil. Those who in secret slander their neighbors I will destroy. Those who have a haughty look and a proud heart I cannot abide. My eyes are upon the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me, and only those who lead a blameless life shall be my servants. Those who act deceitfully shall not <coughs> dwell in my house, and those who tell lies shall not continue in my sight. I will soon destroy all the wicked in the land, that I may root out all evildoers from the city of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and the Son, Son and, the and the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Now, if you'll turn to page 750, we're doing just a little bit of Psalm 109, verses 1 through 4. Hold not your tongue, O God of my praise, for the mouth of the wicked, the mouth of the deceitful, is opened against me. They speak to me with a lying tongue. They encompass me with hateful words and fight against me without a cause. Despite my love, they accuse me, but as for me, I pray for them. They, re they repay evil for good and hatred for my love. Glory to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it, it was, was in, in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. In our first reading, 
This morning is from the book of Acts, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 21, verses 15 through 26. And we're reading from the, uh, the New Revised Standard Version, the NRSV. After these days, we got ready and started to go up to Jerusalem. Some of the disciples from Caesarea also came along and brought us to the house of Nason of Cyprus, an early disciple with whom we were to stay. When we arrived in Jerusalem, the brothers welcomed us warmly. The next day, Paul went with us to visit James, and all the elders were present. After greeting them, he related one by one the things that God had done among the Gentiles through his ministry. When they heard it, they praised God. Then they said to him, You see, brother, how many thousands of believers there are among the Jews, and they are all, are, are all zealous for the law. They have been told about you that you teach all the Jews living among the Gentiles to forsake Moses, and that you tell them not to circumcise their children or observe their customs. What then is to be done? They will certainly hear that you have come. So do what you so do what we tell you. We have four men who are under a vow. Join these men, go through the rite of purification with them, and pay for the shavings of their heads. Thus all will know that there is nothing in what they have been told about you, but that you yourself observe and guard the law. But as for the Gentiles who have become believers, we have sent a letter with our judgment that they should abstain from what has been sacrificed to idols and from blood, and from that and what is strangled, and what and from fornication. Then Paul took the men, and the next day, having purified himself, he entered the temple with them making public the completion of the days of purification when the sacrifice will be made for each of them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now, Canticle 10. I am just not all here this morning. It's okay. <laughs> That's why there are two of us. I know. Isn't that great? Uh, Canticle 10 on page 86 of your prayer book. Seek, Seek the Lord, Lord while he wills to be found. found. Call upon, upon him when he draws near. Let the, the wicked, wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let, let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens, and return not again but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty but it will accomplish that which I have purposed, and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now. Now the other reading. <laughs> Our Gospel reading today is from Luke 5, 27 through 39. A reading from the book of Luke. After this he went out and saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the tax booth, and he said to him, Follow me. And he got up, left everything, and followed him. Then Levi gave a great banquet for him in his house, and there was a large crowd of tax collectors and others sitting at the table with them. The Pharisees and their scribes were complaining to his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus answered, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick have come to call, I have come to call not the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Then they said to him, John's disciples, like the disciples of the Pharisees, frequently fast and pray, but your disciples eat and drink. Jesus said to them, You cannot make wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them, can you? The days will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them, and then they will fast in those days. He also told them a parable. No one tears a piece from an old garment and sews it on an old, oops, sorry, skipped a line. 
No one tears a piece from a new garment and sews it on an old garment. Otherwise, the new will be torn, and the piece from the new will not match the old. And no one puts new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the new wine will burst the skins and will be skilled, spilled, and the skins will be destroyed. But new wine must be put into fresh wineskins. No one after drinking old wine desires new wine, but says the old is good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> we continue with Canticle 17 on page 93. Canticle 17. Lord, you now, now have set, set your servant, servant free to go, go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Continuing together on page 96 with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is our kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We will just say together, sir, or responsibly, uh, suffer a day. But first, we would ask for your prayers. To put them in the comment section, please, and we will ask specific intersection intercessions for those shortly. <clears throat> suffer day. Show us your mercy, Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. On page 99, O oh God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Grant us, defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now on page 823, prayer number 27 for social justice. Grant, O oh God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatred cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace together through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. On page 824, in times of conflict, O oh God, you have bound us together in a common life. Help us in the midst of our struggles for justice and truth to confront one another without hatred or bitterness and to work together with mutual forbearance and respect through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And on page 827, um, particularly in these times, we ask for prayers for those who influence public opinion. 
Almighty God, you proclaim your truth in every age by many voices. Direct in our time, we pray, those who speak where many listen and write what many read, that they may do their part in making the heart of the people wise, its mind sound, and its will righteous. To the honor of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Returning to page 100. <clears throat> Lord God Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us safely to the beginning of this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now it's time for the other book. Singing time. Grab your hymnals. <laughs> Birds are ready. <laughs> yeah, the squash <laughs> for the. Uh, we're in the midst of so much that is important to our nation right now, and to us as people, individuals, uh, to us as a church, to who we are, to the world. Um, we wanted to kind of use this hymn time to go back to where our roots are and, and where our foundational values are, and so forth. So. We're going to sing verse 1, 3, 4, and 5 of hymn number 525. Hymn number 525, <clears throat> verse 1, 3, 4, and 5. <clears throat> oh <dear. laughs> the church is one foundation, is Jesus Christ her Lord. She is his new creation by water and the word. From heaven he came and sought her to be his holy bride. With his own blood he bought her and for her life he died. Though with a scornful wonder men see her sorrow pressed by schisms and asunder by heaven sees distressed. Yet saints their watch are keeping, their cry goes up how long. And soon the night of weeping shall be the morn of song. Mid toil and tribulation and the tumult of the wars, she waits the consummation of peace forevermore. Till with the vision glorious, her morning light shall bless, and the great church victorious shall be the church at rest. <laughs> Yet she on earth had union with God the three in one. And mystic sweet communion with those whose rest is one. O oh, happy ones and holy, Lord, give us grace that we 
like them the meek and lowly, on high may dwell with me. Thank you. Lord, Heavenly Father, be with us all this morning. Be with all of your children across this great land as, as we deal with change and challenge on so many fronts. Particularly be with the teachers, the educators, and the students as they learn to adapt to new norms, to new ways of teaching, our teachers to giving and our students to receiving and learning and growing. Uh, give us all patience and help us believe that all things are being done for our good, even if we may not see things the same way or may not agree with some of the policies or processes involved. We ask that you be with all those involved in our political process as we examine the leadership that will take us forward as a country for the next four years. Give us patience, give us kind ears, and help us reach out to one another in, in, with a true interest in learning how others feel, what they believe, and helping them know that they are cared for and loved by our Lord and by our church. We ask that you particularly care for our clergy who are going into a very, very busy weekend. Uh, give them strength, discernment, and, uh, and a sure knowledge of your intention for us as a family. Uh, keep them strong and safe uh, as they carry your word and help us uh, to live as your church. And <coughs> trying here, you need it. Looks like we have several prayer requests here. Do you want to do those, or do you want me to? I can do it. Okay, you go ahead. Pray for healing for Ryan Short and his family, his mom, dad, and both children have been tested positive for COVID. Lord, we ask you to reach out and protect his family. May their time with COVID be brief and their, their cure and their recovery swift and certain. We ask that you especially watch over students, parents, and teachers, and school administration as they return to their new normal. We pray for Chris that his vision will clear after his procedure. Bring your healing angels to him and make his sight restored. May your <clears throat> excuse me. May your healing hands be upon him and, and those who attend to him. I ask that you especially pray for the leaders of our country, that they may serve you in truth and honor, and that we may see them as your servants uh, and make sound decisions as we all go forward during this election season. This election season. Continuing healing for Luke, uh, may your angels of mercy guide him, guard, guard him, and guide those who care for him. And for the Simpson family, uh, continuing prayer for their health and well-being. Would ask that you also pray, continue to pray. We pray for our, your continued intercession and guidance for our daughter Kathleen, our nephew Christian, our friend Chris, all of whom are seeking employment. Uh, may you give them the wisdom and set the, the, the perfect the perfect path in front of them and may you bless them in their in their journey and their search. Okay. That's it. Oh, there's gotta be more. <laughs> I think that was a lot. 
<laughs> okay, we're not asking too much, are we? We're never asking too much. <laughs> okay. Never. Oh, God love us. He does. All right, continuing with our service on page 101. In the words of the general thanksgiving, and there is much to be thankful for today. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we, and we pray, pray give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being along today. Yes. We appreciate having you on our patio. Um, next week we are taking a short retreat, so we will be away with no internet, phones, or anything else. Or so, cable TV or football games. <laughs> no football games. <laughs> lots of hikes and reading and drinking tea. Um, so Sam Terrell has been kind enough to agree to sub for us next Wednesday. So thank you, Sam, for that. Uh, we love you guys, and keep taking care of yourselves and one another. God bless. God bless.